Hey, I'm Brian Van, SportBikeTrackGear.com, and today we're going to break down the all-new Alpine Stars Tech Air Compatible Missile Ignition Airflow Leather Jacket. Okay, the Missile Ignition Airflow Leather Jacket retails for $649 as of the time we're shooting this video. Please understand, we don't update videos for pricing changes, only if the product itself has been fully redesigned. Let's dive into sizing, and that's a little more complicated with this jacket because this is Tech Air compatible. Some riders are going to use the jacket without the Tech Air system. We're going to show you how this fits me without the Tech Air. Others are going to choose to take advantage of the fact that Tech Air is out there, available, super protective, we highly recommend it, and they're going to use that with the jacket. It does have an impact on how the coat itself is going to fit. So in this video, Caleb is going to show you examples of me wearing the same jacket with and without the Tech Air system. In most cases, you're going to order the exact same jacket whether you're going to use the Tech Air or not. There are certain examples where that rule is not correct. If you're right on the top of the scale, say that you know, you're know you in a 54 but it's really snug out of the gate, odds are you may not have room for the Tech Air system. You may need to go up to the 56 and that's what our team here at STG is here for, to help you choose the right size and get everything dialed in just the way you like it. Okay, I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, 197 pounds, about a 33 inch waist. I am wearing a size 54 euro in the missile ignition leather jacket in both of the 360s that we show you. There is definitely a difference in fit with and without the airbag vest. Right now I still have the airbag vest installed in it and the jacket fits exactly the way I'd want it to. It fits really good. It's going to take just a little bit of break and it's a little bit snug right here. That's something I run into with some of the jackets and some of the suits that varies from person to person, but it's not so bad that it's not going to just break in. And the difference between having the airbag vest in and having the airbag vest out, that really wasn't an issue. It just snugged it up a little bit everywhere. You take it out, you do a few rides in it, you sweat in a little bit, and it's gonna help to break in the coat, and from there it's gonna feel exactly as I would want it to. A lot of motion panels built into this. With any of the Tech Air compatible garments, they have to add, especially in the leather, they have to add motion panels to it to manage deployment of the Tech Air system. That's something actually I've already experienced, my son's experienced that too. We both had some track crashes and had the bag go off. And it's funny, it happens so fast, you, you don't even know it, but you have to have those expansion panels there to allow for the vest to fill internally. If you don't have the expansion panels, it's just gonna put a lot of pressure on your body because one way or another, that bag is going to inflate with the charge that is behind it. There is a fringe benefit of having a Tech Air compatible garment, even if you're not going to use the Tech Air system. Those additional motion panels allow the garment to move freely on your body, much less restrictive, so that is a nice fringe benefit. They've changed the cut of this jacket compared to the previous version, the Missile Jacket. And that jacket, I believe, if memory serves me, I wore a size 56. They're now redoing their leather garments, the sizing and the cuts of those. The latest suits, I am wearing a size 54, four year on those now as compared to a 56 year old previously. This jacket is an example of that change in their sizing pattern as well. There's also quite a bit of pre-curve you can kind of see that to the sleeve of the Missile Ignition leather jacket, right? And that's what you want on a sport bike. Let's talk about armor that comes with the coat. It comes with CE certified armor in the elbow form and shoulder. It's got an elbow slider, not a replaceable slider like you see on the Missile Ignition suit, but it does have an elbow slider built in. Motion panel here, motion panel here in the form, shoulder slider, CE certified shoulder armor. If you're not going to run the Tech Air system, this jacket also includes pockets in the chest and in the back to accept their CE certified Nucleon armor inserts. If you're not going to run the Tech Air system, we highly recommend you buy those the same time you buy the coat, slip them in the pockets. You're going to match the protection that you have at the elbows and the shoulders. And with a nice coat like this, you really want to make sure you've invested in safety all the way around. 
one of the reasons they don't include those type of things with the coach is there's many levels of protection available. And also with a jacket like this, if you're going to run the tech air system, you really don't need or want the other stuff in the coat because it's just going to take up space. Storage. Zippered hand warmer style storage pockets. And for a sport bike coat, they're relatively good sized pockets. Internally, we have a waterproof storage pocket. We have a full zip to pants zipper. You can pair this with some of the leather Alpine Stars pants and get yourself a nice two-piece riding suit that's appropriate for street and or some track day duty as well. If you like what you see so far and you want more detail, stay tuned for the second part of this video. I'm going to show you what it takes to install the Tech Air Vest and give you a really close look from the inside out. Installing the Tech Air Race Vest into the Missile Ignition Leather Jacket. This is really a pretty simple process. One of the first things you're going to have to do is expose the Velcro panel that attaches to the base of the neck on the Tech Air Race Vest. Release the Velcro here, base of the neck of the jacket, and you're going to open up the inside and find there are two Velcro panels. The innermost is going to be reattached to the liner of the jacket itself. The one on top now will be used to attach to the Tech Air Race. I like to grab the liner of the sleeve and pull it through a bit, exposing the Velcro patches that will then attach to the Tech Air Race vest. Slide the vest into place. You'll note the one at the bottom of the sleeve is rectangular shaped. Take your time lining these up for the purpose of this video. I'm just going to kind of do it quickly. But what I found with the race suits is installing this accurately has an impact on comfort. So you want to take your time, make sure everything's lined up really good, you don't have anything twisted. Do the same on the other sleeve. What's cool about the Tech Air Race Vest is you're able to toggle from track to street. There's a lot of riders that are doing both track days and street riding, and now you can take that vest you've invested in and use it in both places. You could have a missile suit hanging for the racetrack and then a missile jacket for the street. You'll notice this patch is large. It's about twice the height of the one found on the vest itself. You can kind of use that to tune the height of the protector. We're just going to go all the way towards the top. That typically works best for me, like so. Now we need to find the wiring harness for the LEDs on the left sleeve. Right here at the back, you'll find them coiled through the liner of the suit. Take your time and pass this through. It comes this way from the factory because this jacket can be used with and without the Tech Air vest. I don't typically turn the switch on now. All the way down is off, all the way up is on. You can do that when it's inside the jacket or the race suit. Now you're going to want to plug this terminal end into the gray port. From here, you've got the yellow color-coded zips. Go ahead and zip this in. Both sides of the jacket, attaching to the vest. From here, reach under, turn the switch on, and you're good to go. Inside out look of the missile ignition leather jacket. Let's start off with the armor that it comes with. CE certified armor is gonna be found in the shoulders, you can see this is low profile, moldable, flexible, comfortable, as well as the elbow and forearm. If you're gonna use the Tech Air race vest with this, you're gonna get protection, chest, sides, shoulders, and back. The Tech Air race vest has an integrated back protector. In my opinion, if you run that along with this, you have the maximum level of protection possible. If you're not going to be using the Tech Air race vest, this jacket also offers the ability to install the Alpine Stars Nucleon chest armor as well as one of the Nucleon back inserts. I'm going to show you how to install those right now. There's a zip pocket 
right here at the bottom of the coat. This allows you to access the armor in the shoulders and elbows as well as install armor in the back and chest. For the back protector, there is literally a pocket that is found right back here. It's on, just on the inside of the liner. You can slip that back protector insert in there and have CE level protection for the back. If you want to use the chest inserts, you'll just go over to each side of the jacket in the chest area and you will find basically stitched in between the inner liner and the leather outer shell of the jacket some mesh that has a little velcro pocket. I'm going to do the best I can to give you a little bit of a look at it here. Just like that. Release the velcro at the bottom, slide the nucleon chest pieces in, reattach it, and from there you're good to go. Focusing now on the shell of the coat. This is basically the top half of the missile ignition race suit. It's put together in the same fashion. It's using the same armor. Large panels of leather, ventilated race hump. Got a nice four-way stretch panel here. This, along with the stretch paneling you see here, as well as those on the tops of the sleeves, do a couple of different things. One thing they do is they make the jacket more comfortable to wear. It wears like a second skin. It moves with you. It's not very restrictive. The other thing it does, if in fact you do have the Tech Air race vest in, have a crash, and it deploys, these stretch panels allow for the expansion of the airbag. That's very important. If the jacket fits super tight and you don't have these stretch panels in and that airbag pops off, it could result in some sort of injury because remember it does take up a certain volume and it happens very rapidly. The ventilated race hump is going to allow for an exchange of heat energy. This works to keep the rider cooler and more comfortable. Screen printed Alpine Star logo here. Volume adjustment at the waist is found with Velcro, leather, We've got a D-ring, and then they're using four-way stretch fabric here because that'll bunch up easier than the leather would and give you a cleaner look if you need to tighten that up a bit. Sleeve of the coat. There is the Alpine Star shoulder slider. This works in conjunction with the shoulder armor behind to give you ultimate protection in that area. Little motion panel here at the elbow. Integrated elbow slider, not replaceable. Here is the Tech Air LED if you're running the Tech Air Race Fest. These are the LED indicators. Locking zips, nice comfortable mesh liner, zippered hand warmer style storage pockets are found both sides of the jacket. These are good sized pockets. Tons of perforation up front, Alpine Star screen printing, little TPR detail here to tidy everything up. Comfort rolled collar, get inside the coat. Got a nice comfortable mesh liner. We have a waterproof storage compartment with a zipper over here on the left breast. On the right side, we have a similar storage pocket that has a Velcro closure on top of it. There are certain Alpine Star standalone back protectors that do offer a snap attachment. It's not a bad system, but in my opinion, if you're going to run this with a back protector and not the Tech Air Race Vest, I really think the inserts do a better job because they just stay placed in the jacket. It's more convenient offers the same level of protection and you're not dealing with it moving around inside of here. There is also a zip to pants attachment system. If you want to pair these up with a pair of leather Alpine Star pants, you could put yourself together a nice two-piece riding suit. What do I think of this jacket? I love the missile line from the first version that was available a couple of seasons ago to this one. This is definitely some of the best value you're going to find in road riding apparel.